Oh my god. Bubble guppies, it is 7.55 a.m. You are going to be extremely late for school. Mom, I don't feel so well today. I think I'm having a fever. Yeah, same here. Me too. Me three. Me four. Me five. Well, okay. Y'all can stay home today. I hate to say this, but I think we're all catching colds. We probably caught it from some sick student at school last week. And by the way, you better not be lying. If you don't want to go to school, just say that. With the reputation all of you have, I don't think I can believe you. And I'm saying this for a reason. I swear to the Lord above, if all of you are faking having a cold, it is a belt on your behinds. Oh my gosh. Mom, we promise you, that isn't the case at all. Ah. Uh, okay. But anyways, I must get to work. Your father and grandmother will still be here, and I told them that you're all sick. Since all of you have a cold, I think it's best that you all get some more sleep. But you'll still have to get up and eat some lunch at noon, so that gives you guys four additional hours of sleep. I'll be back at 6.15 tonight. Holy crap. What in the world is that noise? It's so ding dang loud that it has stung my eardrums. Oh, sorry you guys, that was my phone. I forgot to turn down the volume. And I also forgot to tell you guys that I had set an alarm for 12 p.m. for us to wake up and have lunch like mom said. I was really tired. Right now it's 12.01 p.m. Oh, that's alright Nani. But anyway you guys, how did you all sleep? I think we all slept amazing Molly. It feels so good that we're faking colds so that we don't have to go to school. Tell me about it Una. School is nothing but shit. But anyways, let's all go downstairs to eat lunch. Um, why do you guys have masks on? Excuse me? What kind of question is that? Because you all have a cold, obviously. We don't want to catch that shit. Why are you guys even downstairs to begin with? Are you slow? No, we're not slow. We just came downstairs to have some lunch. Oh, okay. Eating will make you guys feel better. Go for it. Dave, didn't the kids act like they're feeling well and energized since they got downstairs? I'm afraid so, Mom. Sick people usually aren't that energized. They also looked happy when they were walking to the kitchen. And second, Dima asked me why we have masks on. This is indeed a sign of something suspicious. I'm going to tell Natasha about this once she comes back home. Hello Dave and Elizabeth. I'm back from work. What's with the frowns? We have a feeling that the bubble guppies are faking having a cold. We have received some suspicious signs of them faking. First off, they came downstairs and Dima asked me why Dave and I have masks on. Second, they didn't look sick when they came downstairs. They were actually very energized. And third, they walked happily and excitedly to the kitchen for lunch. It is apparent that neither of them wanted to go to school today, since they are apparently faking having a cold. So go ahead. Put a belt on their behinds and then ground them. Oh my gosh. I can't believe they fell for it. Little did they know, we were faking having a cold all along. They are so clueless. Ha 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 ha. Not so fast, Molly. Molly, Gil, Gobi, Dima, Una, and Nonny, all six of you motherfucking brats better get your asses downstairs now. Oh no. 
I have a bad feeling about what's going to happen in the next few minutes. That's right. You idiots have fucked it up for yourselves. Now tell me what's going on, or I will lash out this belt on each and every one of your behinds. Okay mom, dad, and grandma, I can explain. Since we didn't want to go to school today, we decided to fake having a cold to make y'all let us stay home. We think that school is boring, stressful, and depressing. Like come on now, what information from school would we use in the real world? School is irrelevant and a waste of time. But anyways, we're so sorry, and we promise this will never happen again. Oh my god. Molly, Gil, Gobi, Dima, Una, and Noni, how dare you all fake having a cold, to trick me into thinking you were all sick, so I would have to let you stay home. You know, y'all may hate going to school, but you can't let that have power over your mind. Y'all may think it's boring, it's depressing, and stressful. But at the same time, you must go beyond that. Don't let your opinions control your actions. This is a lesson that all of you should learn. All of you should definitely get a punishment day for this, but I am doing something else instead, as you may see what's in my hand. You know what, I think that's the reason why all of you have such terrible grades, because you have no motivation. The higher the motivation, the higher the grade, and the lower the motivation, the lower the grade. In other words, it's because none of you brats are trying. You don't have perseverance. You don't have any consideration for school. You feel comfortable just lying down and taking hits from weapons that school is throwing at you. You will never get anywhere in life because you're not taking life seriously. If you do, life will take you seriously. Fix it now or we'll fix it for you. Now, answer me this. Will all of you fix it, or will me, your mother, and your father fix it for you? We'll do it, Grandma. We'll do it. Then show us that you can do it. Prove it. For every action we take, we must take the consequences. If your actions cause trouble, the trouble will come after you. But if your actions attract peace, the peace will come for you. Life will treat you good, only if you treat it with care. Stop causing negativity and turn it around, because right now, that's not what it's looking like. It's not looking like any of you will fix it. And life of happiness requires hard work and responsibility. Y'all know what I said earlier. Now turn around and face the wall. Ouch. My ass is red. Mom, why must you hit each of us several times? Because you all have made me extremely pissed, and I am getting sick of your foolish actions. Molly, Gil, Gobi, Dima, Una, and Noni, how dare you all have faked having a cold to stay home. That's it. Each and every one of you are grounded for the half-life of carbon-14. In other words, you're grounded for 5730 years. Upstairs now. Wa 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 w